The Right Honourable Dr. Joseph Muscat, um, the Prime Minister of Malta and Chairperson of, in Office of the Commonwealth in absentia, who has been here. The Right Honourable Patricia Scotland, the, Com the Secretary General of the Commonwealth. Honourable Dr. Owen Bunishi, the Minister of Justice, Culture and Local Government in the Government of Malta. Councillor Joe Codina, the representative of the Local Councils Association of Malta. Councillor Pak Stau, President of the United Cities and Local Governments and, and Local Governments, the World Body for Local Governments and Municipalities. Mr. McPhee, Philip McPhee, the Vice Chairperson of the Commonwealth Local Government Forum and the members of the Board of the Local Government Forum. Dr. Greg Monroe, the Secretary General of the Commonwealth Local Government Forum. Dr. Carl Wright, the uh, Secretary General Emeritus of the Commonwealth Local Government Forum and Mrs. Wright. Honorable Ministers of Local Government from across the width and the breadth of the Commonwealth. Your Excellencies, members of the Reponty Corps, Mayors, President of Local Government Associations, Councillors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We once again congregate here in this coveted world gathering of local government practitioners, the Commonwealth Local Government Conference, once again. And on behalf of the Commonwealth Local Government Forum, I welcome you to the 2017 conference. Commonwealth Local Government for, uh, Forum holds a biannual conference for the benefit of its members. The conference helps to shape the work in the agenda of the CLGF for the next two years. So the conference is an important milestone in ensuring that CLGF responds and addresses the advocacy and the program, programmatic delivery and needs of its members. In 2017, we held a conference in Botswana, my country, and we came up with a roadmap for the next 15 years, the Habrun Declaration, local government, uh, uh, local government Vision 2030, uh, Commonwealth uh, Local Government Vision 2030. The conference focused on the need to include local government in the global development agenda and the role in, the, in that agenda. As an outcome of that conference, we intensified our global advocacy for a meaningful role for local governments in the implementation and monitoring of the Sustainable Development Goals. Localizing the Sustainable Development Goals became a key phrase in the repertoire of our efforts. And even more boldly at the United Nations Habitat uh, 3 conference. And boldly, nothing about us without us, as was the slogan. This was a shared advocacy effort under the auspices of the Global Task Force with many of our partner organizations, many of whom, like the United States and local governments, UCLG and Platforma, are here with us tonight and the whole, for the whole of this week. We all learned an important lesson during the concerted global advocacy effort. Our voice is stronger, clearer, and louder if we work together and speak as one voice as local governments. Our efforts were rewarded. Local government is now at the global development table with almost two thirds and with almost two thirds of the SDG studies requiring local government in involvement for their achievement. In the opening of Habitat 3 week in October 2016, the then Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, shared a session with a few hundred mayors and local government leaders. This week, in the 2017 conference, we take the debate to the next level. How do we build our resources and capacity base to, if, to be effective local governments and to actively engage in delivery and development, and development of our communities and citizens' needs. How, we, how do we promote more fiscal decentralization, increase locally raised revenues, work with partners for sustainable delivery, build strong local economies, work smarter to be more efficient and effective, and how we innovate across our local government financing horizon. In short, how do we become fit for the future? A significance of the architecture of CLGF is that we bring together different levels of government 
So our membership and board includes local government, national governments, and in some areas, the state or provincial and, uh, governments and other stakeholders. That delivery is also reflected in our attendance this week. This means that the outcome of the conference are owned by more than just local government alone. It is essential that our outcomes are fed into broader global initiatives, as that is how we turn them into practical reality. We are only starting our deliberations tomorrow, but I am already thinking ahead about how we action our conclusions and make them a, a real. Both the Prime Minister Muscat and Honorable Secretary General Patricia Scotland are key in helping us reach an even wider global audience of decision makers after this conference. The Commonwealth Local Government Conference is usually one of the bigger Commonwealth conferences before the Commonwealth Summit and Commonwealth Heads of States and Government meeting. Both of you can be our advocates in getting some of the outcomes into these deliberations. We have done this successfully before and with the previous uh, Commonwealth Heads of Government meetings. But we know that with the leadership of both Malta and uh, Right Honourable Patricia Scotland, Secretary, Secretary General, uh, represented here today, that our message will not only be heard, but our message will also be spread with your leadership. You will become important emissaries for our conference outcomes and our local development aspirations. You can help us turn this into reality as we committed in local governments to deliver on the new global development agendas and those of the Commonwealth. We have an important partnership with the Commonwealth Secretariat. And just like our lessons learned from our advocacy with our local government partner organizations, we know that Commonwealth Local Government Forum and the Commonwealth Secretariat will be stronger and achieve much more by working in collaboration. This is evidenced by the presence of the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Amit, had a very busy schedule to even sit at our board meeting today and be with us for two days in here. And Madam, we are really energized by your presence at this meeting. Finally, on the issue of partnerships, I need to thank the government of Malta, and in particular the office of the Prime Minister, and the Minister, the Minister of Justice, Culture, and Local Government, and Local Councils Association of Malta, for their collaboration support in making this conference a, a reality. We are deeply grateful it is because of your support that the local government, that we in local government will become fit for the future. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I look forward with great anticipation for a very successful 2017 Commonwealth Local Government Conference. May God grant us speed in all that we do and have a successful conference. God bless you. I thank you.